Just that are just taking care of themselves. Right. You got people who are living in presidential suites and flying Air Force One across the world and walking up to women and grabbing them by the crotch. Mm. So mm. I mean, you know, it's like, hmm. Mm. It's, it, 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 it's your physical surrounding that really determines your civilization, whether you're barbarian or not. And I, and, and I think that that's what we're kind of looking at right now. They attributed their civilization to their relationship with the Lord. Well, it's the yeah. technology, y'all. Yeah, the technology. It's technology, period. Yeah. And, it, know, really, and it doesn't change the person. Not, it, it just it makes it even more sinister. Yeah, it and, makes and it a lot more. Yeah, you can reach a lot more people that way. So, so Malcolm said, what do you get when you educate a devil? You get an educated Ooh. devil. Ooh. So, Ooh. what we're in the business of doing is transforming people from devils to the sons of God. Amen. Come on now. And then we don't, and that 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 has to become our singular focus. It's not initially, and I know that true for all of us because we were born into the world system. We exited the system, and now we're working on the Lord's side to bring other people out of that system. So, you have a point of Pastor Taylor. I want to acknowledge the fact that it is a human issue, the yeah. corruption that we that visits us in the United States of America. It isn't isolated to our white brothers. The devil hate white people too. But it is it's an issue that it's some truth that we have to acknowledge in order to get. You can't build a case on a body of lies. And what has happened in America is that a body of foundation of lies has been established, and we're trying to build on top of that. And as a result of it, the nation is crumbling. Mm -hmm. At some point, we got to go back and repent as a nation. Yeah and say, you know, we screwed up real bad. <laughs> we, we, we messed up, we're sorry, forgive us. But, and not talking to each other, but talking to God. And that's the conversation that the nation hasn't had yet. The nation hasn't gone back to God and said, forgive us. Yeah. We, we really sinned horribly against you. We lied, we cheated, we stole. You, there can be no great United States of America until that repentance takes place. That revival has to take place. Well, and, you know, yeah. and, and, and I agree with that, and I, I think, you know, just like they did in South Africa, they had, they had that type of uh, commission to get people to just talk about the bad things that happened. Uh, but if nothing else, I, I think with our study and stuff, is at least have person say, you know, Brother Addison, you know, the reason I was coming with that Lord's Prayer thing, the giving part, mm -hmm. I wanted I wanted to really read, because my, my faith was getting toward those people being able to at least go to God and say, look, we have, you know, we have sinned, you know what I mean? We have done some bad things. We have, we, we have abused people. And, yeah. and, and he's got to come to you and say, remember that, that one scripture said, what, uh, I think it was, was it David that said unto you, I have sinned only? Yeah. only Psalm you know? 51, he but said, against you alone have I sinned. And that's how yeah. he didn't kill you right ahead of that. <laughs> well, it, <laughs> it was, that. it was, uh, bottom line, it's love that does it. It's, 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 it's the relationship with God and love that drives that forgiveness. Without yeah. that, you yeah. know, uh, you, 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 they're just words. And I, and I just want, and that's what I want them, I think the, the, at least a person needs to look, you know, what about prayer is it, is a looking at yourself, you know, and, and, and coming to God being open to what he already knows about you, but allowing you to know, open your heart to him, and not to others. I understand not to others, but at least to him. You mm -hmm. know, and say, so, Lord, I, you know, I, I'm repenting. I'm, I, I want to move this hate from my heart. And the sad thing I'm concerned about is even the, uh, the recipients of racism, and I'm talking about blacks, and yeah. the hate that comes into their hearts. Yeah because of the things and the atrocities that, that that caused them to be bitter and 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 give up in life so well so, it's it's perpetuated i mean you got to look at the designer of this entire action 
Mm-hmm. And why would he want it to only affect one nationality? He wants it to affect all. All of them. So yeah. this process that has been played played out, you know, uh, by the father of it, the mm-hmm. father of lies, yeah, uh, Satan. He doesn't want it to just affect people of color. It affects the people who perpetrate it as well. Exactly. So, I mean, it drives them further away from God yep. as it drives us away from God because of the the desire to retaliate. To retaliate, yeah. Yes. You know, Remember Kosovo? To protect, to protect your own kind. Yeah. You know, drives you into a mindset of anger. Mm-hmm. You know, and to lash out. There, yeah. There's a couple of scriptures that I think we really got to get a fix on. When murder, killing somebody is not, when it's said that's not killed, even when we take it back to the Old Testament, it's not talking about defending yourself yeah. or your household. There's a scripture that said, he who did not provide for needs of his own household is worse than an infidel. Right. So if somebody comes in to destroy your house and you sit there and let them do it, you're worse than an infidel. I mean, that's just, and that's not being unchristian. That's just yeah. a fact. And, and we were taught that for us to retaliate or for us to defend ourselves in a sense was ungodly. That's not scripture. The only yeah. time you can hold your peace is when God tell you not to hold your peace. I mean, he'll tell you to hold your peace. These guys weren't dying because they had to. They yeah. were dying because they chose to. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and not every situation is going to call for us to sacrifice our lives. Sometimes it might call for us to take a life or two. Yeah. And that's the thing that we have not embraced as we were not taught to embrace as black people. African, black Americans, black men in America. Right. You're not in the your house. That, that's ungodly. But, and it also, there's one scripture that we really skipped over here. It says, if your brother asks for forgiveness, forgive him. Yeah, yeah. You say, yeah. Well, we got this, this blanket thing. Well, we need to forgive him. We need to forgive him. Well, who said that? <laughs> if you are committing an atrocity against me and my household, I'm just going to look at you and go, I'll forgive you, brother. Well, what, maybe, about, Elder, Elder, yeah, what about think. what about turning the other cheek? What that, about walking the, yeah. the, the extra mile? It's got to go with it's got to go with the leading of the spirit. What is you got to keep, keep it in context, though, man. That's, you know, I, I'm, I'm just saying, I, and I only brought that up just to be just to, to bring out a point, you know, because that's what people use. Yeah, you know, they don't Taking use the word out of content to make it to try and make you docile. Which is what they want, yeah. And in response, mm-hmm. so God has given us an automatic response of self-preservation. Now it would not be there, right? <clears throat> with, if it did not have a purpose, you know. Yeah. yeah. And without the Spirit of God, you cannot override that. Right. That's your that's your cardinal side, fatal fight. Yes. Unless you're psychologically impacted. Yeah. And what happened with us yeah. is that we're psychologically impacted by scripture that told us told our peace. Now let's see the genius to this. The genius was we didn't have the numbers. So if we had to retaliate, like Nat Turner somebody mentioned earlier, we would have been annihilated. If we had not dealt with it from a nonviolent perspective, we had no resources to really deal with it from a violent one, we would have been destroyed. So God kept us in a crevice of a rock by us embracing that particular doctrine because well, look what happened. We survived that period. We were bred to be stronger, faster, harder. Literally, we were physically bred to be the best. Yeah. Um, our immune systems were over the, over the top. The same diseases that killed the Native Americans off, diseases we survived. Yeah. The same, we survived a boat ride. We survived the diseases that was prevalent in that environment. So everything that you've seen, God has in the African American, the American, the American male, the African descent, the African descent, the American male, manifest the cream of the crop in all things. The only thing we have not done, we have not done, is submit to God. The one thing we have not done is submitted to the Lord. We have survived everything, and oh, the African Americans and the Hispanics are dying off. No, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> At the end of the day, if we gonna survive, God, we, that's just our part. <laughs> our part is to survive. Yeah, we we been hard into it, you know. And, and, the, and the reason I was gonna throw that glad y'all know. I mean, do y'all understand when Jesus walked the earth? 
the the brutality of the Roman soldiers. Yes, sir. Was 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 was, was not oh, great. Oh. It's just bad if you're talking about people who do atrocities as police officers today. But the zealots was the minority inside the community of Israel. But they the ones that wanted to do the rebellion, you know? The, they did. Matter of fact, matter of fact you know, the, the, the Barabbas was the one, uh, his real name was Jesus. His name was Jesus something. Uh, maybe it was Jesus Barabbas, I think, was the last name. But, what Jesus? Is Bar Jesus something like that? There was, you know, you know when they made the choice between crucified Jesus or crucified this other guy that was there because he murdered someone, but he murdered somebody for out of insurrection. You know, he's trying to, you know, brother, as he was trying, he's one of those people who's trying to yeah. fight the system. Yeah, yeah Malcolm X. <clears throat> he was like, yeah, he was the opposite of that. He was the the zealots, and they chose Jesus for crucifixion. What, what, what Jesus said, though, is that eventually the zealous became the dominant force in Israel that caused them to be destroyed in yep. 70 AD. <laughs> didn't have the numbers. <laughs> they, they didn't have the numbers, and they still <laughs> wanted to fight the Romans. Yeah. And Roman. the Romans just wiped out Israel to a degree. <laughs> They, they tore the temple. Remember, Jesus said not one stone would be yeah. left unturned. And, and Brother Jack, did you know the reason why they took all the stones down in the temple? Because they, they burnt the temple to the point of the heat that the gold melted down the seams of the, of the uh, foundation. And they, they had to turn it, the, you know, the foundation and stuff up just to get to the gold. Mm -hmm. It melted. Mm -hmm. You know? And then, like I said, they changed the name from Israel to Palestine. That's because they, they, they got tired of dealing, you know, Romans, I'm tired of these uh, zealots. But, but you know what's so funny about it? Is that the Roman Empire is no more, but, but, but the Hebrew nation and the church is still moving forward. Yeah. You can't yeah. stop God, man. I mean, it, it's impossible. The worst is if God be for you, who can be against you? So I, I think that the problem has been for us as a people, and for any people, I think it's the same as the people. Is, you know, is God with you? And are you doing those things to gain his favor? Yeah. And we have not done the things to gain his favor. I mean, honestly speaking, I don't see shaking your booty out there in the, in the, in the public like that is gaining God's favor. I might be wrong. But I don't well, see. I, I, don't I see do. I, 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 yeah. I don't see being a gangbanger with your pants falling off is it gained God's favor. I don't see the thing that black people have done since the gaining of civil rights has been along the line of gaining God's favor. Now we've gained some material wealth, but have we gained the favor of God? Can yeah. we take this country and lead it to the Lord Jesus Christ if we were given control of it? Hey, what, you know, you leave it Jesus. Yeah, while you uh saying all that this is probably a good time for me to i, I jotted a note down uh, not just in word but in deed Amen. Yeah. The scripture says. <laughs> and so uh again i i this is like a mantra for me because we are consistently coming together on wednesday nights let's just say and on sundays and again with all these great effective speakers that are out there allegedly promoting the word um unfortunately that just might be all they're doing is just the word right they're just but if we don't do something if we don't take action all right because the, the, then that's an issue and uh, maybe that's the the, the the next thing that uh, we need to do and uh and i'm not talking violence or anything like that because because earlier the the word love was stated and that's yeah. what we need to do yeah. white black everybody in between we as christians have a great opportunity right now Amen, to uh, show the love of christ it, 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 you know we can don't go with the grain uh don't go necessarily against the grain go with what god has tell, told us to do yeah. and that is to yeah. display yeah. love yeah. Yeah. and yeah. so yeah. one second and, we have a great opportunity to show our love of God. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. 
yes, and, uh, and and walk in the spirit. But the thing is, is what again happens uh, divide and comp conquer. And oh, by the way, you know, we can have all the skill sets in the world. We can be all the great speakers in the world. We can have all the talent in the world. But if we are not using it according to uh, how God the Father would want us to use it, then we are just as ineffective. We might as well just continue to sit down and, and do nothing. Do nothing, and so, yeah. And so, you know, that's the thing. Because um, I...